I love that paint is, is so basic and universal. I love that everybody understands something about paint. Like you, you can see the texture of this paint even if it's been flattened. You can understand the fluidity of it. It might be a cake batter to you or, or uh, some of this like, thicker stuff over here. Uh, somebody can approach this and see like you can feel stucco mix or, or maybe you know, it is some kind of cookie dough or batter. Uh, but there's something very universal about painting that everybody has dealt with it. Everybody has uh, either literally painted or, or done some kind of uh, uh, you know, construction work or, or cooking or something where you dealt with material that acts exactly like different kinds of paint mediums might. And there's a sense of, uh, of touch that you can identify with in it. So when people see how this paint is sitting or how it's been pushed around or how it's been treated, they have a, an empathy with that. They can put themselves in the space that the painter was in when they, they painted it. And that's just something that I, I universally am, uh, gravitated towards in art, where I sit in front of an artwork and I feel that I'm in a space. It's a, it's a specific space because the artwork is there, the person that made it was in that same space, and there's a sense of connectivity that, uh, that I'm really drawn to. Yeah, it's constant problem solving. It's sort of, you, you experiment, you try something, uh, you, you throw paint at the wall, you throw it at the floor, you pick it up off the floor, you throw it over onto a piece of plastic that you stretched into an armature, and it does something different every time. And you get surprises, and then you work around the surprises to try to make uh, you know, a little tweak to it. Say, uh, how can I do this, but have you know, there be a little bit of depth there, a little bit of uh, grit. And it's, uh, it's a lot of tinkering and experimenting, and uh, that really uh, keeps me going. So almost any penny I make, and you can look at this big pile of them here. I don't know if this would make a good shot, but uh, you can see like this is where I put my plastic gloves, but this is, this is a 2006 painting that I wanted to put something figurative on top of and uh, that it got thick. So this was 2006, this was 2009 or 2008. And then this led into this, is this like kind of uh, background for this stuff where I thought maybe the figure doesn't have to be a figure, maybe the figure can be a, a fluid shape where this abstract shape becomes the body and uh, the body doesn't always have to be depicted figuratively. The body can be the material of the paint. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fluid that we understand. It's, it's uh, visceral. 